Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. So here's here's what we got here so far. There's a divine masculine here who wants to be free from something, okay? Now this freedom could mean they feel trapped in a situation. They know they have. This divine masculine wants to be free from a situation, right? But they're looking at a choice and a decision that they need to make, and they know they're contemplating this very hard, and it's been a difficult decision. It's like, what road do I go? What path do I take? And this person is really, really contemplating this, okay? That, that's the divine masculine here who wants to be free. and they, But they know in order to be free, they're going to have to make some tough decisions, some hard choices here. That's what it's looking like. So let's see what this is. Show me more here. Okay, situation could involve a child that could make this much easier. Oh, no, not much easier, but much harder. They can't make, maybe somebody here in this situation is like, the decision should be easy, right? Or maybe the situation really should be easy. But when it involves a child, you know, or children, the situation is not as easy. Maybe that's why this person feels trapped, okay? And they know they have a decision to make magnetic connection so they feel this magnetic connection to you but they are not free because hello there's a child involved in the situation okay this masculine knows they need to make a choice but that choice could involve leaving some children around or leaving a child's mother or, or leaving a child's father Male or female, okay? Divine masculine doesn't always have to be a, a, um, a man, okay? Just apply it where it fits. Now we have soulmate. So this person feels a magnetic pull towards you because they feel like you are their soulmate, basically. They feel like you're the person that they're supposed to be with. That's just what this is, okay? Then we have reflection. So this divine masculine is reflecting on this connection. They are... Mm. caution caution came out in reverse so you could be feeling like you know what honestly i was i was getting ready to say collective that you could be feeling like you know distant from this person or you're being cautious towards them or maybe this is you being cautious if this person comes back towards you but honestly i feel like this is all the divine masculine's energy here this divine masculine is like proceeding with caution very carefully they're thinking very carefully and wife just want to come out and and so some maybe somebody's married here with children or you know and then we have forgiveness and healing and then in, in engagement in reverse so for some of you all somebody is in a higher level of a commitment okay <clears throat> could be dealing with a leo or you could be a leo Show me more here for this situation. Thank you. I feel like this is somebody who left out. Yeah, thank you, spirit. Who's left out, felt left out in the cold or somebody who was cold and attached. And it's, it's, it's showing me that this is somebody who you're disconnected from. Okay, so this is you or this person disconnected from you. They could have even ghosted you. There's a, been a purge and a release. Uh, okay, and in quality time, and this is telling me someone wants to spend more. This divine masculine wants to spend more time with you, you guys, but it's cold and detached. Some someone could actually live in a cold climate where it snows, or someone maybe you took a trip at some point in the cold and the snow. Okay, that's not for everyone. Yeah, this divine masculine is in big, big, look at this, what just fell off the top of the deck, separation. They're in big regret over this situation. They're in their head, holding back, sitting, sitting here in deep regret over this situation. They really are. And it's just difficult because I feel like there's a lot of things going on here, you know, a lot of things that this this male or this I'm saying male, so that has to be that has to resonate for somebody. But this person misses you, they do collective, okay? So let's continue to pull some cards here and see what's going on. Show me more here for this divine masculine. Yeah, we have. I need to let you let go of these fearful stories I keep telling myself. So this person, this divine masculine, feels like they're trapped. 
is stuck in a situation because of certain circumstances, including children. And this is like never easy, obviously, right? If somebody is in this heavy energy uh, while they're being separated from you or while they're not communicating with you, but like this person is like stuck in fear of what if, right? They're crying over you, like sad and hurt and upset about the situation. Okay, somebody's doing some reflecting and some healing here. Okay, they maybe they have some healing. I'm taking the time to heal to accept the love that I know that I deserve. So this person's stuck in a situation where they're trapped and they feel like they deserve more. Cannot make this up. Trust the plan. So this person is trying to trust that this is happening for a reason. The connection that the two of you had was so powerful and healing. They're doing everything they can to trust this plan, but I think this person is starting, their vision is starting to get cloudy, and they're like, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. This person is getting really, okay, well, whatever they're doing, they're, they might be seeing other people or sleeping around trying to replace you, and they haven't had luck. Yeah, because they feel like you're moving on. Somebody here could have definitely moved on, and now they're trying to replace you, okay? If you moved on, maybe somebody here um could have physically recently moved here also we have new love oh yeah they're afraid that you moved on from somebody else forgive me but i found a new love who makes me feel alive so this is i'm getting two separate things here for this okay this divine masculine number one is afraid that you've moved on but also number two like i just said they're trying to use other people to get over you get over the connection that they feel from you but they still are sitting in this regret they are. For some of you guys, this person could have moved on to somebody else. And whoever they moved on to, it didn't work out. Oh, yes, they're stuck. Okay, this says wasting time, stuck, no changes, and limited. This person feels like they're running out of time when it comes to you, either you moving on with new love, right? And they also feel stuck and trapped in this situation. We know that. Secret love. I kept my love for you a secret. It's too complicated to explain. So, yeah, this divine masculine definitely felt like the, yeah, you you moved on. They're missing. I told you they're missing you. Told you that. They didn't, they weren't, they didn't tell you how they really felt. They didn't tell you how they really felt. Mm-mm. Or they're not telling you or showing you what they're going through right now. This is a secret. This is something that you're not aware of. Okay, that could be it. But again, this person is having an epiphany. They did. They, it took for you to be gone. Yeah, their ego got in the way. Their ego got in the way, and now they're stuck in their head alone. Even though this person may be trying to move on and rebound with other people and having flings and sleeping around or doing whatever else it is there that is that they're doing. Instead of healing, because that's really what this divine masculine should be doing. That's what they're supposed to be doing. You know, if this person is surrounded by lots of people, they feel lonely. If they're with a third party or somebody else that, that they chose, they're feeling lonely. But they know they are running out of time with you. Okay, that's the epiphany that they're currently having. All right, photo. Getting evidence and proof so this person could be stalking you or watching you on social media. All right. And then we got, that's it. I'm, call, I'm calling God. So this person is praying to the angels about you, collective. They really are. Even though they haven't reached out to you, but they're watching you. They said you first. There's that ego again. Somebody's definitely ego tripping. Having a good time, partying, hanging out, like appearing to live a good life like they aren't. They like they aren't phased by what's happening, but I'm going to tell you, you guys, they are phased by what's happening. They're not telling you that this person knows they want to be free. I don't know why. Tell your, oh, okay. So somebody's spying on somebody here. Interesting. This, that could be the third party that's watching you. Remember we saw getting caught. Yeah. This is, this is. <laughs> Oh, this is this is the person that they're trying to run away from. This is the person they're trying to run away from. Because they want to reconcile with you. So this third party knows about you. They're trying to reconcile with you. And you may not even know all of this drama is going on, okay? I don't believe you anymore. Yeah, this is your energy. You're saying, yeah, I don't. 
this person may come back to apologize to you. Look at this online dating. Some of you guys could have caught this person. They're an extreme player right now. And this reconciliation wanted to come out again so bad, okay? Somebody's afraid you have options, okay? Or this person is doing everything they can to get over you. They're scrolling on their phone, swiping left, swiping right. They want to talk to you. They're te texting you or writing text messages and deleting them. They're not sending them to you, but they're ready to confess. They, they are... This person has a real big ego problem. They love to have control. They really do. But they don't have control. Divine timing is at play. Divine purpose is at play. They're pretending and acting like they're fine. Collective when they're not fine. They're not okay. Okay? Then we have threatening. Intimidating, threatening, and bother. So I, I don't know if this is their energy here. They feel threatened by a new person. Or this could be their third party who's threatening them if you leave, yeah, an offer. So somebody's threatening if you leave collective and go be towards whatever. Ooh, somebody could have called an STD. Be careful. Okay. Mm. So somebody could have got into an argument with someone else. And this is not for everybody, you know. I'm definitely feeling strong energy. Oh, there's another card stuck on here. Low IQ. <laughs> Somebody is slow. Who's dealing? This third party is, is slow. Okay. I, I don't, I, I usually don't do that on this channel, but y'all see what the cards say. I'm just saying. Let me know if this resonates, you guys. But I feel like you're unbothered and you're minding your own business and you don't even know this stuff is going on in the background collective. You really don't. See? You don't. You don't know this is going on in the background. This person feels you drifting away and separating, okay? Your energy, pulling your energy back in competition. I get intimidated and nervous knowing you get so much competition. Again, this person's so concerned about what you're doing, but they were in this ego trip and, yeah, you let them go. In jackpot, winning, getting money, unexpected money. So you guys are leveling up. You're getting, you're actually doing good. Oh, hold on. Somebody could have let somebody go because somebody has some form of a drug addiction. They were to very toxic. They could be using somebody for money. That's not for everybody, but let's get some tarot and see. Show me here how this person feels about the collective, please. How does this person feel about the collective? Ooh, ooh. They're undecided. Okay, two of pentacles and the page of wands. They're undecided. They're back and forth. One minute they're hot, the next minute they're cold. One minute they know what they want to say, they know the decision they want to make, they know what path they want to take, and they want to communicate with you and tell you, but then they don't, okay? They're they're going back and forth with this shit. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be a fire sign dealing with a, a, an earth sign. You don't have to be. How do they feel about the collective they, that you're holding back? from them you're being strong you're standing in your power leo energy yeah i told you you're unfazed yeah see but how they feel about you they feel like you're a wish fulfillment nine of cups water sign energy you could be dealing with another water sign a cancer you could be dealing with a scorpio and a cancer here's that knight of wands again this person feels like you you make them so happy and like you changed their life you changed their perspective about something like you ignited something in them and they're just sitting by the window trying to figure out what the heck they're gonna do <laughs> they want a rebirth they want a transformation okay they know it's over they know you're guarded seven of wands they know you're not talking to them hmm they feel lonely, okay? They don't know what to do, and they feel lonely and abandoned and left out in the cold. Like I said, you could have, yep, you moved on. You could have emotionally detached and walked away. This person feels like you, and some of y'all, like I said earlier, may have physically moved to Aries, Leo, Sag energy. You could be dealing with a Libra here, too. You don't have to be. Bottom of the deck is guess what? They look at you. They look at you and view you as the divine feminine, okay? So here's your divine masculine to your divine feminine. Okay, this divine masculine is trying, wants to be free, right? I can pick this card up, hold on. <laughs> they want to be free to be with their divine counterpart, they do. But they're watching you too. They're watching you. But there's so much conflict going on in the background that you don't know about, like I said. Yeah, somebody's got a family here. 
options, confusion, but you block this toxic energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn, okay, or Taurus. Yeah. Oof. That's your reading, you guys. I love you. Hit the like button.